everybody my name is Anna and welcome to my channel Anna Always Reading. Today I am doing my first ever book review and I'm going to start with the book The Young World by Chris Waits. Yay! Anyways, I gave this book a 3.8 stars on Goodreads or a 73% grade or a B in Canada. Anyways, the book is about, the book is a dystopian novel set in New York. It is a world ruled by teenagers because all the adults or kids under age 5 have been killed off by this mysterious sickness. Anyways, the civilization that these kids, the main characters live in is set in Times Square, Maine, New York. The main characters are named Donna and Jefferson. One day, one of the secondary characters comes up to Jefferson, who is now the leader of the tribe that they're in, because the, his older brother had recently turned 18 and was killed off by the sickness. And he's the, second, the secondary character, Brainbox, told him that he might be able to find a cure for the sickness or the reason why he started it started. So he convinces Brainbox, Donna, and a girl named and a boy named Peter to come along with him on this adventure throughout New York to find the cause of this sickness. So the book is, so all this part of the book is just going through what they faced in New York, what's, what happened to them as they went along on this trip, and it's quite the adventure, can I say. Anyways, I thought this was a good book. I, re I thought it was a swell-tastic book when I first read it. I was on a book high, so I gave it five stars on Goodreads. And it was like 11 o'clock at night when I finished it. So the next morning when I woke up, I realized it's not five star worthy, but it was good. So I gave it 3.8 stars. Anyways, the plot was interesting and so are the characters. Although sometimes it was a bit hard to read, a bit fast paced because especially the fight scenes or the violence that happened in book it was hard for me to keep up it was like reading a Wattpad story where the author doesn't really know how to write fast-paced scenes other than that the characters they were interesting enough but they actually started out as tropes as the author does point out in the 52nd page but they're also very self-aware I like that it was also because most since most dystopian books are set in years like 2124 none of the slang that we use nowadays is still used but Donna the main character since the book is happening now like let's say next year all the slang is still happening all these kids miss their phones and the internet so bad like we totally would if the world just shut down that was interesting to read different point of view in a dystopian world as I said before, the characters were tropes, as it said on the 52nd page. I'll read them to you. So Brainbox, he's the evil genius. Donna, slightly unhinged girl power chick. Peter, the Christian adrenaline junkie. And Jefferson, the nerd philosopher king. As the story went along, they broke out of their trope molds and actually grew up. Which really confused me because it's the first book in a trilogy and I want to see I don't want to see much character development in the first book. You have to wait for their glow up to happen. But who knows? Maybe Chris White has a very intense character development for all of them to go to. But when I saw this book and who wrote it, I was very hesitant to pick it up because Chris White, he's also a director. And he directed Twilight, New Moon, and The Golden Compass. Both movies that started out as book and tanked as actual movies. But the author of The Perks of Being the Wallflower, Stefan Chabowski, I'm pretty sure blurbed it and said it was an interesting book. So I said, hey, let's pick it up just in case. And I, it was worth it. So I do think you should pick it up if you are in the market for a, dis a, new, a different kind of dystopian book. If you like this book, you will, or if you like the book I'm about to show you, you will totally enjoy them. If you liked Gone by Michael Gray, you will love the young world as it is set in the same kind of realm as teenagers trying to get through whatever is happening to them and all the adults are gone and have to figure it out. I also think you will enjoy The Maze Runner but who does it? Also run by teens, a society where they have to figure out a sickness as well. Anyways, I hope you liked this video and if you've read this book, tell me down in the comments below what you thought about it. If you haven't read this book, tell me, do you think this summary sounds interesting or you don't want to read it at all? Anyways,
anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like it and subscribe to my channel. All my social medias will be in the link description below. I hope you have a great weekend.